Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. We're ready to start. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I hope you're all settled in and enjoying your lunch. If you haven't, please dig in. Um, and I want to just thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Perla Cavazos. And I'm Caroline Newman Phillips. And on behalf of Foundation Communities, we'd like to welcome you to today's Welcome Home Luncheon. Uh, we've been really honored to be on the steering committee for this event, and we are just thrilled to be here today to share how this extraordinary organization is creating homes and providing services to help thousands of our struggling neighbors succeed. Let me just take a moment to thank our fabulous table hosts for inviting you here. Table ho hosts, will you please raise your hands? Thank you. I also want to thank Realty Austin for providing us with an extraordinary match fund today. We'll tell you a little bit about that later. And we owe a big thanks to Wells Fargo, Gracie Title, Bank of America, and Texas Gas Service for underwriting today's event. We are extremely grateful for your generosity. Thank you. And that's not all. Um, I have a few other people to thank. Proof Advertising, Elephant Productions, Whole Foods, who provided us lunch today, and Sweet Leaf Tea for their in-kind donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and of course, goes, out with, uh, goes without saying that this whole event would never have happened without the hospitality of our good neighbor, the Salvation Army, and Fox Service Company. Good neighbors, thank you. Because of our sponsor support, all of the expenses for today's event are covered. That means every dollar you may be inspired to give will go directly to Foundation Communities programs, like their after school program. Why don't we hear from some of the kids they serve now? If you haven't already noticed, those beautiful centerpieces at your table, all of your tables, were painted by the very kids in that video. And these are just some of the 700 students across Austin who participate in Foundation Community's free learning center activities each and every day. Uh, so hopefully most of you got to tour their latest learning center, uh, the newest one of all, Sierra Vista. And I think you'll probably agree with me that it's very impressive. It's the state-of-the-art 7,500 square foot space the colorful furniture and playground equipment, the vibrant classrooms. But what's most impressive at all is what takes place in, those, in that learning center each and every day. 
Foundation communities, volunteers, and staff provide participants with a healthy snack after school. They, uh, they help them with their homework, and they make sure they complete it, which you know is no small feat. They, uh, they lead fitness classes and fun extracurricular activities, such as National Geographic Club or Harry Potter Club. And most importantly of all, they provide time and patience, praise and encouragement. And the great thing is that these simple, yet tried and true and proven interventions really do work. The young participants that are in foundation communities after school programs, who are all low income and many who don't speak English as a first language, are outperforming their peers by earning a B plus average in school. Yeah. And to add to that, for the first year ever, Neighborhood Elementary School, St. Elmo Elementary, has received an exemplary rating from the state of Texas. And this is an achievement that Principal Adriana Gonzalez, who's with us today, and her staff are quick to share with foundation communities. So in my work at Such Foundation, we're focused on providing educational opportunities for underserved students here in Austin. And that's why I'm so passionate about the work of foundation communities. They do what works. We just need to help them do more of it. I've been a proud supporter of foundation communities for many years now, not only because they're helping kids succeed in school, as Carolyn just laid out, but because they're helping provide kids and their parents with a foundation from which to build a brighter future. I'd like to go ahead and turn the program over to Walter Moreau, Foundation Community's longtime executive director. Walter tends to go about his work quietly, humbly. He'd certainly never tell you this, but he's recognized as a national leader for his innovative efforts. Yes. <laughs> Walter's passion his skills as a housing finance expert and his long-term vision have helped him successfully win the support of neighborhood associations and create over 2,600 affordable homes with on-site support services for low-income families and individuals all over Austin. <laughs> Walter, thank you for your tireless service to our community. There you are. <laughs>